Shalom and blessings, dear sisters and brothers. Those are complex hours in the world, and we need to remember that waves of negative energy that are washing the world are affecting it not only physically, also spiritually. And we have a huge responsibility on our shoulders to do the best we can to sweeten judgments, to cancel decrees, and to do the best that we can for the Creator to reveal His loving kindness upon us, upon all His beloved creations. It depends on us. We need to stand up and to go out and to scream to our Maker from the bottom of our hearts, to talk to Him as you speak to your parent, to your loving parent, and to tell Hashem, please, Father in heaven, reveal your unconditional love, reveal your mercy, your compassion on the world, on all the nations, on all the people around the world, on the animals, on the trees. Reveal your love, your endless love upon us all and all kinds of wars. Remove all kinds of darkness. Bring the light back into our systems let the stars shine upon us let the world shine from your glory from your beauty from your grace it depends in our personal prayers anyone in the world every person around you is a lighthouse potential great powerful source of energy that can shine to far and great distance we're all able to take over and to conquer the world with our honest prayers you should wake up your friends you should call them to go out to the fields and to call hashem to call the creator to call him from the bottom of the heart to speak with him from your own room from your own house from your own chambers you need to scream from your heart honest words to cry, to beg, to ask, to demand, to scream, to shout, to do whatever it takes for the Creator to be convinced that it's the time to reveal the unconditional love on His creations. An individual prayer is the most wonderful, strongest prayer of them all. Not to read from the books and to read from the cedar books, from the Psalms. The strongest prayer is the prayer of the individual that is screaming from the bottom of his heart the honest will and passion and holy desire of his soul to take place, for his dreams to take place and to come true. For that we need to believe in ourselves. And to believe in ourselves is to believe that our Maker loves us, that He cares for us. And we should call Him and we should scream for the metal screen of separation to be removed between us to our Father in Heaven and that wall of separation to just be knocked down to the ground and disappear and melt and dissolve in reality and that there will be no more separation between our Maker to us, His creations and that all the loving kindness that is treasured in this creation will shine and will be revealed to us all. That there will be no more sick people, no more plagues, no more wars, no more sorrow, no more kind of kinds of darkness. That only light will shine, that only love will spread, that honesty and truth and honor, respect and sensitivity to everyone will be the main things that we will be concerned with that we will think all day long how to do good things, how to be more positive, more powerful, greater, nicer, more kind, to reveal our love in greater ways, to support, to, to, to do whatever it takes to help another person on earth. Everyone has enormous power. Everyone has wonderful tools. We just need to believe in ourselves. The main tool that we've been blessed with is the power of prayer to speak from the heart, to use your mouth and to scream. 
No more bloodshed, no more death, no more sorrow, no more pain. Please scream to our Maker. And from four wings of the universe, our shouting and scream will rise and gates of mercy and kindness will be open in the sky and we'll see the complete eternal redemption taking place in our days, in our lives, and in the lives of all our loved ones. Amen.